I also like to um, talk a little bit about where we go from here as a nation because I think that what people are not looking at in this election is the fact that the Republican Party is tearing itself apart at the seams and that these what seemingly are minor skirmishes happening at the state level represent a fundamental argument about what is the Republican Party. Is it in fact an issue, a set of issues chosen by the Chamber of Commerce? Do we care only about economics? Do we think of ed education as a subset of economics? Do we think of, uh, of social issues as being already decided by some court on high and that religious practices are in fact arcane and need to be taken out of the uh, public square? Have we really gotten to the point where uh, we could integrate bathrooms in uh, the grammar school level and can't even fashion an argument about that? And that is the model that has been hoisted on the Republican Party by the Chamber of Commerce for a number of years now. And there's a rebellion among the voters. And how that rebellion is resolved is going to tell us a lot about where the future of politics is in, in the country. And I think that whether you uh, support Donald Trump or you don't, he has made a conscious effort to actually counter, directly counter, the elitist uh, elements of the uh, Chamber of Commerce agenda, and it's been the key to his success. And if the Republican Party as a whole doesn't react to that and react to it with some more serious policy proposals, they're going to be left with a, uh, you know, a few uh, libertarians who um, won't be able to uh, govern, you know, govern uh, uh, a mountain state. You're not going to have a majority unless you come to some serious work with this, with this fundamental um, problem. If there is not a Republican economics that connects with working people and that all of the things that have to do with the social fabric of the country can't be decided in, in the boardrooms of Fortune 500 companies.